All right, for all the five people that might watch this fucking video, uh, old guy surfs the web. Let's see what we can find today. Here, watch this one here and let me know what you would do in this situation here. What are you doing, man? All right, number one, not only did he step over him, but you see that little fucking move he fucking made to, like, fucking, like, like physically, like, kind of, like, like, hit him a little bit there. I mean, I don't know, dude. If I was that dude, I probably would have stood up and punched him in his fucking face already. But let's just let's just keep watching. Fuck that! Oh, you touch me. Touch me, motherfucker. I mean, bro. At this point, like, you get your ass beat or not, like, is you just gotta fucking fight this guy because just he's fucking touching your fucking manhood at this fucking point. Get your fucking child. What are you gonna do? You gonna jump? Yeah, I'm waiting right here. I don't do what the fuck you tell me, dude. Who the fuck is you? Yeah, all right. Yeah, this is crazy, man. I mean, this basically they go back and forth a little bit, like you know. But the other dude, dude's a big dude. What the fuck, man? Like, what are you doing? Like, you can't let this motherfucker just punk you like that. Like, if you get your ass beat or not, like, like this was being like a straight up bitch. Like, you obviously see you're in the fucking middle seat, dude. You're a hundred percent in the fucking wrong here. The dude, you can see, he's getting his shit together, like putting his fucking like iPods back in and stuff together. People are, like, already blocked in. Like, what are you going to do, dude? Just fucking relax, man. Like, it's, it's courtesy. People go, your row goes, you go in a fucking line. You know what I mean? What the fuck is that going to get you? Save you what, like, fucking 30 seconds? Like, and that's some bitch-ass shit. Like, I don't give a fuck if this would be my answer now. I'd stand up and bitch-smack the shit out of him in front of fucking everybody, man. Because, you know, you don't act like, why would you act like, see, that's some bitch-ass shit that I just don't fucking like right here, dude. All right, these videos keep popping up. I keep watching them. Let's check this one out. a guy that makes 75k a year. <laughs> That's so cute. No, no, no. With inflation and this economy, I absolutely... Like, 75 k is, is not, you know, that bad of a fucking salary. Uh, I'm not saying I'm fucking Brad Pitt or, like, handsome or whatever the fuck, but, lady, you're fucking spray tan away from looking like a fucking Oompa Loompa for fucking uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate fucking factory, and you're sitting here laughing at a man that makes fucking 75 fucking thousand dollars a fucking year, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this shit, dude. I absolutely could not. I don't think that he could afford our groceries. And I mean, and I'm buying organic, and obviously I'm buying all like grass-fed, grass-finished beef, no seed oils. So no, he couldn't afford that at Whole Foods. No, no, no. No Whole Foods for this guy. No Whole Foods. We're back at like Publix, like the sale section, like Walmart groceries. Walmart groceries. Yeah. Would you? Do I just don't find this shit funny, man. So like, if a guy's working hard, making seventy-five fucking k a year, what you're not gonna fucking date him or fucking marry him? With these stupid ass comments, you're fucking, you're not gonna fucking find anybody. Cause look at this oomph loomph little ass bitch, dude. She's gonna go fucking find some fucking rich dude. Fucking probably not. Cause I don't even think a rich dude would fucking take her. But like, she's gonna keep on getting used by these fucking dudes, and then eventually she's gonna want to fucking, you know, like like get married and shit. The ship's gonna be fucking. I mean, the ship's already probably fucking sailed for her. Cause she looks like she's fucking almost fucking my age, like fucking forty and shit. So like, like, like you really can't be in a position to be fucking saying dumb shit like this, dude. And like, what, what the? How much do you fucking make? That's what the fuck I want to know. Like, I, I just don't understand that, like, like right now with this bashing, like, hardworking fucking men, like, you know what I mean? Like, 75k a year is really not that fucking bad. Like, you know, I just don't fucking get it. These videos just really get me fucking upset over here. All right, this video you could already just tell by looking at the fucking first shot. This just not going to end up well for this gentleman over here, dude. Right in the fucking balls and dick, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would fucking hurt. That's what you can't be doing dumb shit like that, bro. Like, fucking, I learned my lesson fucking up a fucking knee with a fucking wheelbarrow before, dude. Like, shit ain't no joke, bro. You're gonna fuck around and find out and hurt yourself. That's for fucking sure. Right, if you watch this video, they ask a question. This might be the dumbest fucking question they could fucking ask, dude. <laughs> It says, dear men, what is preventing you from doing this? Well, number one, I'm afraid of fucking heights. Uh, number two, I'm not jumping with a fucking axe. Fucking 50, 60, 70 fucking feet down into a little fucking puddle. So I'll break my fucking neck probably. I mean, you know, I got a kid, so I wouldn't want to risk my fucking life getting fucking injured or fucking dying or not being able to provide for them. I mean, there's a lot of fucking reasons what's preventing me from fucking doing dumb shit like fucking this. That's for goddamn fucking sure.
All right, I got to do some fucking research to see if this is fucking a real story or not. Um, okay, so dude steals a fucking car. Or there's a fucking baby inside of it. He comes back, gives the baby back to the parents, and then fucking bitches them out for fucking, for being shitty fucking parents. And, and I hope this is true because this is fucking real. Like, like, yeah, you must be a fucking shitty ass parent if you leave a fucking baby unattended in a fucking car. Like, I don't give a fuck if you're pumping gas or you're running into the store for fucking two seconds. Do not leave your fucking... My kid's like fucking seven, about to be fucking eight, and I still don't leave him unattended in a fucking car to go run in somewhere because I know what the kind of shit that fucking happens. That's your fucking child, man. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, seriously, like... And it's a fucking baby, dude. Like, you... Fuck, dude. Like, when the kids... My, my kid's a fucking baby. I couldn't... I would fucking... If I was with him... Like, dude, like, no. There's no fucking way, dude. Like, 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 scared for fucking everything that would happen to the fucking kid, man. These parents are fucking shitty parents, man. And, and, and if this is fucking real, good for this fucking guy, dude. And I'm, I'm gonna Googleize this and see if it's fucking real, but, you know, just to, so I know, but, yeah, this is crazy.